Now then my friends, I lived in the United States in America for around about 12 years on and off and I have to say they have drive throughs for everything, literally everything. ATMs or cash points or cash machines, whatever we call them over here, they have them for pizza, for coffee, for milkshakes, for literally everything. Uh, McDonald's, Burger King, everything, Mexican food, drive through you do not have to get out of the car and burn any calories off whatsoever. They even have moving escalators to get up to their gyms, to their fitness places, because we wouldn't want to burn off any more calories on the way to the gym now, would we? And literally, it seems like the UK has become a subsidiary of the United States. In fact, I remember seeing a video, I think it was, by George Michael, where um, I think, who was it at the time? It was uh, the Prime Minister, Tony Blair and, and Bush, and they were literally lassoing the United Kingdom over to America. It feels like we're an addition to one of their states, because we're the same. We now have drive through everything. Pizza places, Costa Coffees, Starbucks, everything is drive through Literally, we're getting the same. We don't want to burn off any calories. Why get out of the car? You've seen me, I review food in here, and it's better if you don't get out of the car. Of course it is. Now, fish and chips though. Never ever myself seen a fish and chip shop drive through Well, there is one, because I'm going to one today called Bannies in Burnley, and it's supposed to be absolutely spot on. I mean, I'm, I'm a little like this because, come on, this is an English institution and we're Americanising it by making it a drive through I mean, I used to be quite, you know, I'm walking down to the chippy, burning off a few calories, picking it up in a newspaper, walking it back, you know, with wrapped in newspaper. Not these days, because we're going to go to Banny's drive through Fish and Chip Shop in Burnley, my friends. That's right. If you're new to the channel, by the way, don't forget, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And also, smash that thumbs up, my friends. Go on, do it now. It's free. It's down there. And it might even burn off a few calories. Anyway, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Okay, 9.8 miles to go. Just gone past the signpost there, Accrington. Do you remember that advert on TV? Oh, always reminds me of that. Who do you play for? Was it you're drinking his milk? He goes, Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Exactly. I remember that. I remember that well. Anyway, another nine miles to go. Getting rather hungry now, and I'm told it is supposed to be spot on. I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm going to reserve judgment because the last fish and chips that I had, which was at the best fish and chip shop in Britain, voted by the National Fish and Chip Shop Awards, which was in Nottingham, were not that good. And a lot of people went, yeah, it's really flat, the fish, and it was. Looking back at it, it was not good. I was disappointed. And I've always said, Yorkshire make the best fish and chips. So. Can Burnley do better than Yorkshire? Burnley's in Lancashire, isn't it? Burnley, Lancashire? Pretty sure it's Lancashire. Might be wrong. Comments down below. I think it's Lancashire. I'm almost certain it's Lancashire. If I'm wrong, sorry about that. Comments down below. And I passed my geography at school as well. Come on, onwards. So coming past Clitheroe now, 
reminds me of going uh, up to the lakes with my mum and dad. Sometimes we'd come through this uh, um, nearly said route, so there's Americanisms coming out, um, through this route. And you always used to make me laugh, did when I was a little older anyway, because somebody on the signs always, always, why is he going about 30 mile an hour on the motorway? Always used to sort of brush out and cross out the H E R O E. So it left another word. Obviously, it was a bloke or, a, or some young teenage lads that did that. And also, when we used to go through uh, Yorkshire, through Sheffield kind of way as well, there used to be a place, well, there is a place called Paniston. And again, they did the same. In fact, I think I've got that on a video somewhere still from years ago when I went um, out with my dad one day and I, I filmed the sign uh, and did obviously cross the uh, town part out of it. So it left something else. Again, it would have been teenage lads that did it. I don't know. Grow up, act your age, my mum used to say. Come on, I'm starving. Let's get to Burnley. Come on, Burnley. We got 4.2 more miles before we go through this damn drive through. Come on, onwards. North, we got old mills around here. It's from where my mother was from in Lancashire. In uh, where, where was she? Ashton Underline. Yeah, Ashton Underline. They don't take no, they don't take no, no, no messing around up here in North. And mum used to say, "Do as you're told, or she'll get a clip round the lug hole." Now then, it says to turn right here, but that's the lag on the right way. No, here we go. I'll go here then. There we go. Right, getting super hungry here. So hopefully these are good. Um, I'm told they're good, I've read they're good. I've read lots of write-ups on them. I've only read a couple of bad reports on this. Now, my only thing is, if they do more than fish and chips, then I'm gonna be like this, because if you specialise in more than one thing, then I'm never too sure about it. You know, you can go to these places where they do fish and chips, they do kebabs, they do burgers. I guess kebabs is a little bit like that. But, you know, where they do burgers and they do pizzas and they're a jack of all trades, then I'm never too sure about it. Where is this taking me? This is, I'll come back to you in a minute. I don't know where this is. This is leading me into a, literally nowhere. Right, I'll come back in a minute. Don't you just love the old GPS? I'll tell you what, I've just used another sat-nav now as well and it's leading me and there's another guy back there just turning around. This is leading me. Where is this going? I'm literally going into the middle of nowhere. Where is it? Or am I right? Where are we going here? Here we go. Now I'll turn up here. It's taking me up the back. We've got some Victorian mill there. Oh, here we go. We might. Are we right? I can see it. Bannies. That's it. Come on. What are they going to be like? Now I want your verdict on this as well. You can see, I know you can't taste them. Okay, I've got it. I know you can't you can't taste them, but you can see them. You told me what you thought of the ones um, in Nottingham. So you tell me the ones what you, what you think of these ones here. There we go. Bannies. Here we go. Look at this drive through fish and chips. That you is. Have reached your you can. Thank the you. That, on the left I can see it road. now. Yeah, thanks. Um, here it is. You can sit in as well, or you can drive through. Well, we're going to drive through because it's a bit of a novelty. Um, we'll take a look outside first, actually, then we'll do the drive through. 
you can actually wow it looks quite nice actually you can eat inside as well looks very nice let's take a look outside then we'll hop back in the car uh, and we'll drive through do it as a bit of novelty come on Looking nice, looking good. You've got a nice outside seating area as well here. Lots of people inside, air conditioned inside, sitting inside. It does look like it is only fish and chips, so should be good. Super excited about this. Let's get back in the car and go and do the old drive through fish and chips. What a novelty. Never done this for fish and chips before. Let's go. Oh, right tell you what I'm gonna have to get the windows down today because it, it is one of the hottest one of the hottest days of the year now Daniel in Tenerife always says oh it's 28 degrees it's 28 degrees it's actually 31 degrees today which is unbelievable so we're gonna go and get these I might have to leave the AC on so there might be a little bit of background noise because otherwise I shall end up burning up. I'll try and open the windows all first. Let's go and get these fish and chips. And maybe curry sauce or mushy peas. Or do I get both? Might I get both, test them both out. Come on, onwards. All right, here we go. Banny's drive-through. We can have shakes as well. Chocolate shakes. Uh, what we've got here? Let me try and put this camera on for you, then we can have a look. Here we go. You can have uh, chocolate shake, 150. Sticky toffee shake, oh, nice. Strawberry open 12 till 9. What have we got on the menu here? Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, you, oh, they do do other stuff. So they do haddock burgers, a flipping hot burger Bet that's hotter than the uh, McDonald's one, lemon and pepper haddock. That looks good. Okay, let's go up to the menu and let's see what they've got on here. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got turn that off uh, we've got desserts haddock so i think we'll go for haddock individual plus chips 679 for haddock and chips you can have gluten-free haddock as well which is good um let's have a look we'll go haddock and chips and a side of uh ooh. you can have baked beans mushy peas curry or gravy now that's interesting because a few of you said you could you've got to have gravy gravy with fish are you mental gravy with fish who does that gravy's for meat that's just wrong so i think we're going to go mushy peas and curry sauce so haddock and chips mushy peas and curry sauce let's see whether they leave the skin on the haddock come on i could get a haddock and chips uh, and the mushy peas and a curry sauce and uh, Diet Coke, please. Uh, Diet Pepsi is fine, yeah, and I pay contactless, thank you. Thank you. One second. There we go, thank you very much. Uh, yes, please, we're going to eat it in the car, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shall I just go around to the next window? Thank you. Right, there we go. So, what was that? Have a look. £9.76, one haddock and chips, £6.79, mushy peas, 99 one curry sauce, 99 uh, and obviously I've got a, uh, I've got 5% sales, 5% sales VAT, 5% VAT amount. So there we go. That is your receipt. There we go. Okay, £9.76. I don't think that's too bad to be fair. Depends what they like. Right, which window do I go to? I don't think it's this one, I think it's the next. Collect, here we go.
that's great thank you very much thank you thank you bye bye right let's go and park up and let's take a look at these bad boys shall we nice big car park at the back i think today i'd rather be sitting inside actually in an air conditioned area but it's all about well, there's a nice view actually of, uh, of burnley here look at that there we go in fact i tell you what i'm going to go a little bit further over and i can just sit here and look look at look at the beauty of burnley while i'm eating my chips just look at that hey let me turn this other camera around and show you that just look at that burnley with the hills in the distance and the uh, the old mills there right i'm going to get these windows down seat belt off turn that camera off let's get the windows down on the front here as well and we'll turn this air conditioning off for now save the environment got a nice little bag here there we go nice little bag with the bannies logo on how's that we've got curry sauce there's the curry sauce pop that on the dashboard peas look a good color and then here we go nice and oh they are hot these are really hot we've got a knife and fork in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to close in I'm going to show you these close up um, it's not about just my score I'd like you to score them out of 10 as well I'd like you to take a look and tell me what you think now the ones that I had from cod scallops the other day it's a, it's a little bit is it flat again by the looks of it right let's have a look um, it doesn't look too big I mean it's not a massive massive portion but let's have a look let's reserve judgment you don't want a massive portion anyway it's not always about the size of it let's take these it's about what you do with it I know you were thinking that then right here we go so there we go look look at this how's that look right what do you think to that okay first of all we've got to get the thumbnail this is the bit where i look stupid and daft there's nobody around in the cars is there? i always look stupid here we go are we ready right okay now i don't know they didn't ask whether i wanted salt and vinegar on them no salt and vinegar first of all bannies you should ask whether you want salt and vinegar on them and you didn't uh -uh. i think i might have to lose a point for that one here we go and again has it got the skin on it let's have a look the batter's crunchy i don't think they've left the skin on this actually it's very thin again like the one at cod scallops it's very thin and a lot of people were telling me and i clearly asked for haddock this is how thin it is look look at that can you see that very thin all right let's have a look can you see me there with the uh, i think I think you're getting light into the camera there. Let me just close this and see if this is any better. Just bear with me, guys. Just closing the sunroof thing, the shade. No, that's no better. Oh well, we'll just go with it. Right, let's have a look. This is very thin. The batter looks crispy, and it is crispy. Fish, nice and white. I don't think there's any skin on this though guys there is no skin on it so that's good but I want to show you the thickness of this let me try and get the camera this camera in here like this here we go go over to this camera here and that's how thin it is very thin again look 
However, no skin on it. No salt and vinegar either. Right, okay. Curry sauce. Let's test the chip first. Nice and fluffy on the inside there. Hmm. The chips are nice, but they need salt and vinegar. Bannies. If we're having takeout, why are you not asking whether I want salt and vinegar? Right. Ooh, curry sauce. Hang on a minute. This is very, very liquidy. Not very thick, the consistency of it. Nice though, but could be thicker. Let's dip a chip in it and have a look. I mean, look, that's not very thick at all. It's literally slopping around the bowl in there. Got to say though, it's got a kick to it. But if I was going to say, is the curry sauce better at the cod scallops the other day? Yes, that was. This. Mm. It's okay. Needs to be a bit thicker. Right, mushy peas. Oh. I've got to say these 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 are strange. Very watery. Look at this. Let me get these with the camera. Very, very watery this. Let's record this. Look. You see the water in them. And they're not very mushed. Look at that. Can you see that? What is all that water about in there? Right. Okay. Not sure about these. I mean, they're not mushed. Look at them. No. No, no. No. They are not good. Not good at all. Don't like the peas. In fact, I don't like the peas at all. I'm going to leave them peas. Not keen on them at all. Um, right, so fish. Uh, I'll eat this, come back to you, very disappointed about the peas. Good mind to go back and ask for salt and vinegar, but got to go with it. No skin on the fish, which is a bonus. Crispy batter. But again, the fish has gone on a diet. But it's nice and white, there you go, look. Mm. Them peas are probably the worst mushy peas that I've ever had. I've got to say. Not impressed. Right, I'm going to eat these guys um, and then I'll come back to you. Mark them out of 10 um, in a hole and uh, we'll see, see how they fare. Jury's out at the moment. See you guys in a minute. Right, my friends. I'm not going to eat any more chips. That's what I've left. Left some chips. I poured the curry sauce on there. Literally, the curry sauce is very, very watery. I don't understand. Neither I do. the curry sauce on them, literally. I don't understand either, Siri. <laughs> I don't understand why the curry sauce was that um, liquidy. Not enough consistency. These peas, I just can't get out. They taste awful. Oh, they don't even smell nice. They're just watery, hard peas. You could knock somebody out if you threw one at them. 
not impressed by the peas at all. They are the worst mushy peas I've ever had. Epic fail. Epic fail, uh, Bannies, with the mushy peas. Epic fail with not asking me whether I wanted um, salt and vinegar. Fish and chips. It goes together with salt and vinegar. You can't have fish and chips without the salt and vinegar. Right, okay, let's get this marked out of 10. I can get back. I can tell you straight away, uh, the fish was marginally better than what I had at the cod scallops the other day, and it was haddock. Still slightly flat, not very thick, but I am told that haddock is not as uh, thick as cod. It didn't have any skin on it, so thumbs up there. Uh, so thumbs up there. Don't like the skin left on it myself. I have seen some people in the comments say that they do. The batter was uh, batter was okay. It wasn't overly tasty, I have to say, the fish. Um, the chips were okay. I'm not overly impressed, I've got to say. I didn't want to give it a bad review because I've heard some really, really good write-ups about it, but me personally, oh God, the peas are awful. If you come here or you've been here, tell me what's wrong with the peas. They're not even mushy. Um, no, I'm going to go for... This is difficult because I wanted it to be good. My mother's from uh, Lancashire. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh God, I'm, 6.9, 6.9, sorry, not impressed. Them peas are bloody awful, bad peas. Chips were just okay, fish, bit tasteless, the peas bloody awful. Anyway, I've said it all, there you go, Banny's drive-through, bit of a novelty, would have come again? No. If you've been to Banny's, let me know whether you've had the same experience. Maybe you live around here and you haven't been to Banny's. Go to Banny's, go and tell me what you think. Get the mushy peas. The mushy peas are bloody dreadful, is it just me? They're awful. Taste foul. Um, Anyway, that's all for today. I, I'm going home. I mean, crikey, my diet's not bad because I get to eat nothing. It's like, uh, I haven't eaten anything that I like so far. Right, okay, back to Yorkshire. Yorkshire fish and chips for me so far. Don't forget, guys, <coughs> hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And also do hit that thumbs up for me. It does help, doesn't cost you a penny, uh, and it helps push it out to YouTube for me. So, excuse me, so I can keep uh, driving around and doing these reviews for you food reviews at the moment until I can get traveling again and then we'll go and do something else maybe running and walking and exercise see you in the next one guys goodbye hold the front page hold the front page my my apologies bannies my apologies right at the bottom of the bag there's vinegar and salt right so i have to change the score a little bit because i did take a point off for that so i'm going to add an extra point on uh, for the uh, salt and vinegar that i took off for um, i do apologize there we go however still not the tastiest and the peas bloody awful um so there we go um bannies you've got a point higher um sorry about that but let me know that it's in the bag. It was right at the bottom in another bag right at the bottom So I didn't see it. <clears throat> what can you do? At least I'm honest. See you in the next one guys. Bye. Bye You look at these peas Don't forget to subscribe, it's easy. Just click on my little picture on the right there, look. Do it now, go on. You're missing weekly content if you don't. And also, check out my merch. Click the little cartoon on the left there. See you in the next one.